Before Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie were trading vials of blood, swapping underwear, and generally being the picture of early aughts romantic extremity, Billy Bob dated the Jurassic Park star Laura Dern. Moreover, when he married Angie, he and Laura were still together. For some people, you're always going to be the guy married to Angelina Jolie. Does that bug you? Oh, no. no. I mean, there are worse you things. were married to yeah. In today's video, we're looking into this mess of a love triangle, including how Thornton explained himself later on. Now imagine that you were living with your significant other and only discovered their betrayal after you returned from a work trip, and they married the person they left you for while you were away. Ouch. Of course, if you're Laura Dern, you don't need to imagine, because it actually happened to her. Before the Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, and Jennifer Aniston scandal, another love triangle was at play involving Jolie. Yes, the actor found herself in the middle of another messy breakup between Laura Dern and Billy Bob Thornton, who went on to become Jolie's husband. But before they walked down the aisle, Thornton was engaged to Dern. The couple was living together before their relationship came to a crashing end after he met Jolie. Laura Dern is a Hollywood actor who has starred in both successful TV and film projects, including Little Big Lies, I Am Sam, Jurassic Park, and Marriage Story. She ticked off a major career goal last year when she won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role as divorce lawyer Nora Fanshawe in the latter. But Dern was no stranger to Hollywood. Her parents are beloved stars Bruce Dern and Diane Ladd. I was a kid and, oh my god, Bruce Dern and Diane Ladd's daughter, how are you? You know, my name is Laura, people, <laughs> Laura. You know, you want to sort of be known as yourself. And now I've sort of broken away from that and people, you know, look at my work as an actress and not as the daughter of so-and-so. In her Oscars acceptance speech last year, she called them her heroes. And you know, some say, never meet your heroes, but I say if you're really blessed, you get them as your parents. I share this with my acting heroes, my legends, Diane Ladd and Bruce Dern. <laughs> You got game. I love you. Billy Bob Thornton is an actor best known for his roles in Goliath, Bandits, and Bad Santa. He is also a musician, filmmaker, and producer, winning an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay in 1997 for his involvement in the drama Sling Blade, which he also starred and directed. Laura and Billy Bob crossed paths in early 1997 when they both guest starred on one of the most groundbreaking television episodes in modern history, the puppy episode of Ellen. That's right, the one where Ellen DeGeneres comes out as gay to Dern, Oprah, and the entire world, basically. I felt her whole body start shaking and the voice start to crack and to literally be staring in the person's eyes and holding their hands as they say, I'm, I'm gay. gay, for the first time, beyond art, beyond anything but for their life, changed my life. At the time, Dern was fresh from her split with Jurassic Park co-star Jeff Goldblum whom she dated from 1995 to 1997. Thornton was also in the midst of divorcing his fourth wife. After having bit roles in the Ellen episode, Laura and Billy Bob began dating. They would later get engaged and move in together in LA. Dern thought their relationship was solid, but she was proven wrong, sadly. The actor was ever the supportive girlfriend. In late 1998, Thornton admitted he'd gotten unhealthily skinny for a role, telling the Los Angeles Daily News, Frankly, for a while there, I think I had a little mental problem. But it was Dern who tried to force him to confront his issue. I denied it to my girlfriend and everyone else who said I had an eating disorder. And even though Thornton had an unfortunate preference for the red carpet baseball cap, he and Dern still made a stylish pair. They'd been together for three years, and she was well on the way to becoming the actor's fifth wife when she left the home they shared and went away to work on a movie. The couple's relationship ended abruptly in 1999. Laura admitted she had no idea it was over until she heard about the marriage and she never heard from Billy Bob again. The Dave Lynch muse broke her silence on the breakup by saying, it's like a sudden death, for no one has there been any closure or clarity. She revealed that one of the most painful parts of the situation was that Billy Bob ghosted her and she felt like she never got any closure. The split was apparently so acrimonious that Laura had to enlist the help of a friend, Melissa Etheridge, to help her get her stuff back from the house she shared with Billy Bob. 
Melissa recounted the situation while speaking with Andy Cohen back in 2016. I was around when Angelina was not doing nice things with Billy Bob to Laura Dern, she shared. I helped Laura move out of her house with Billy Bob. I like broke into their home to get their stuff out because it was so nasty. As it turns out, Thornton had married Angelina Jolie after reportedly forming a relationship while on the set of the comedy drama Pushing Tin, which co-starred John Cusack and Kate Blanchett. A year later, the couple eloped to Las Vegas, leaving Dern without a clue as to what had happened. Jolie and Thornton quickly became one of Hollywood's most talked about couples, while Dern was left to deal with the breakup. So naturally, Dern was justifiably shaken by the split, or, well, lack thereof. Maybe he should have shown a woman a little respect! Thornton was kind of apologetic. He weighed in on the controversy in 2001 by saying, Others may say that you left our girl and married someone else, but it made me happy and someone else happy. I'm sorry it caused pain. During his marriage to Angelina, which lasted from 2000 until 2003, Billy Bob opened up about the situation with Laura and admitted he'd messed up. See, I've effed up a lot of things. I've been wrong. In relationships, I've been, like, not present. Or doing some wrong things. I don't want to go to couples therapy to solve a relationship. I don't want to work on it. I don't believe in it, never have, he told The Guardian. Laura and Billy Bob may not have had any heart-to-hearts, but they've certainly seen each other since then. Twitter was also sent into a frenzy during the Golden Globes in 2017 when Thornton walked past Dern to accept his award at the podium. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, he can even be seen passing right by Dern's table, who elegantly turns her head away to avoid eye contact. That's a fair reaction to someone who's ghosted you before the term even existed. What's even more bizarre than this whole messy triangle is the fact that Laura Dern and Angelina Jolie actually knew each other from their childhood in Hollywood. While Laura and Angie weren't in the same circles as actors, they did have a prior history. As it turns out, Dern had babysat Jolie due to their fathers being some of Hollywood's most prominent actors. John Voigt's a friend of mine, so I remember Laura babysat Angelina when Angelina was two and Laura was about eight. Dern's father Bruce said at the Motion Picture Academy's Governor's Awards. Thornton and Jolie's relationship moved at lightning speed. The newlyweds were never shy when it came to their relationship. They would often walk the red carpet hand in hand while famously wearing vials of each other's blood around their necks. The necklaces were a very simple thing. Hey, let's poke our fingers with a pen and smear a little blood on there. And when we're away from each other, we'll wear the necklace. It was that easy, he explained once on a podcast. But by the time it came out in the press, it sounded like we were wearing a bucket of blood around our necks. Well, he's not wrong. We kind of signed our life away to each other, in, uh, legally, and with blood, that there's no possible way anybody can separate or walk away from this. Considering Thornton and Jolie's marriage was his fifth, the Bad Santa actor didn't have the best track record with sticking to his vows. Even his relationship with Jolie seemed to be doomed from the start. He openly admitted to feeling insecure, revealing to GQ in 2016 that he never felt good enough for her and that he was unable to keep up with her glamorous jet-setting lifestyle. The passion quickly fizzled, and they split after two years of marriage. We just had different lifestyles, Thornton said, elaborating on their differences. Hers is a global lifestyle. Mine is an agoraphobic lifestyle. So that's really, that's the only reason we're probably still not together. Maybe because of a different path in life we wanted to take. After calling things off with Joe Lee, he put the celebrity dating game behind him. I found celebrity to be difficult just because of privacy issues, he said in 2017 about his A-list relationships. In 2004, Thornton welcomed daughter Bella with Makeup Effects crew member Connie England. The couple walked down the aisle 10 years later, and they're still going strong. My marriages were always very short. Yes. <laughs> and. I don't like to try to fix things that aren't broken. Absolutely. And uh, so I said, look, you know, I've got a pretty bad record. So, yeah. and we're doing fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why know? do we want to jinx 12 this? 12 years, yeah. yeah. And, but we finally did it. The actor has four kids from his six marriages. Dern went on to marry musician Ben Harper in 2005, and they welcomed a son in 2001 and a daughter in 2004. The couple, who met at one of Harper's concerts in 2000, were married in a private ceremony at their L.A. home in front of their kids and a small group of friends and family. Five years later, the Grammy winner filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Their divorce was finalized in 2013. 
While Dern has never directly addressed the breakdown of her marriage, she did make a rare comment about divorce in 2019 when promoting her movie Marriage Story. As director Noah Baumbach first said about the story when we first talked about it, he said, I want to tell a love story where endings are not failures. And that really moved me and struck me deeply, Dern said, alluding to her separation and that of her parents. Surely she wasn't thinking of her separation from Thornton at the time. So to my amazing divorced parents, and my amazing step-parents, and my amazing children, who came from love despite an ending in a marriage, were so privileged to redefine what family looks like. That's all we have for you today, Juicers. Which celebrity couple do you want us to talk about next? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word, and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. And we'll be right back. Be well and be kind.